Hey, hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, my name is Shashank and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today in this particular video, I am going to show you a very interesting tool which I have integrated with this Podio system and it has completely changed the way I use it. Alright, the tool name is ChatGPT. I have integrated in such a way so that my system is completely automated now. I do not have to do anything. I just put my uh, contacts in a drip campaign and then my system take care of all the replies I am getting from my sellers or buyers. The chat GPT is able to recognize what I was talking to the client and based on that conversation, it is automatically responding to all those people and if they want to schedule any appointments, that is also we are able to do right with the help of ChatGPT. System is um, able to set up those appointments automatically. System is able to respond to all those sellers and buyers. So I do not have to do anything at all. That same functionality I will be just showing you in a couple of minutes. Before giving you that demo, first let's talk about how to configure ChatGPT with Podio. So if you see my screen here, I have created a settings app and that's where I have this section called chat GPT details. So right here, you can mention what you want this uh, system to be called. So here in this case, I am um, calling my VA name, which is actually the chat GPT VA name as Sarah and I can change it whenever I want. Um, just for just to give you a demo let me change it to robert real quick okay so i want my va name to be robert right here this api key i can get from my um the chat gpt account so once you sign up for chat gpt you can go to your account page and that's where you have the um, api uh, section and you can create a new api and just paste it right here then obviously uh, you will have to set up the prompt right here this is where i am configuring a virtual assistant right and it will definitely chat gpt but i am telling chat gpt that how to act what is your name what's your contact information what information do you have right what do you need to say what you don't have to say so all that thing I am setting up in this prompt section and um, this is where I'm telling the system that how to act. You are a real estate investor from whatever your company name is. Then as a human named Sarah, what is your goal? What you are, what is your goal that when you are talking to the seller or the buyer, what sh you should be keeping in mind, what you should say, what you shouldn't. So all those things. I am writing down right here. It has the information like how you should act. Don't let anyone know that you are a AI tool and what is your um, working schedule? When do you work? What is your location? So everything you want means every time you hire a virtual assistant, that's what you tell them, right? You tell them about your company. You tell them what you should be talking to the sellers and buyers. So those same details, you will have to tell the system right here in this prompt section. Once you do that, that's it. Now ChatGPT will take care of all the conversation based on this initial prompt. That's why this is super important. Once you save all these details, then um, that is it. You just have to test that whether it is working or not. In order to show you how I have integrated in my system, I will go to my cold leads app. And this is the fresh lead I have in my system. What I will do, I will write a message to my seller. So let's say, hi, um, what else I want to say? All right. And this is actually my Google voice number. So I should be getting that 
message right here. All right, it has some feeds created in a while. All right, so I have the message here. Okay, um, so now this is the seller. He is responding. Now let's see what the system says. I have received that inbound message. Who's there? So here if you see that the system said system automatically replied good to meet you my name is robert because this is what we had set um, right here the virtual assistant name and then i am from the company name this is something we had set in the prompt then firm specializing in the off-market property we are making offer in the neighborhood are you open to selling all right let's continue the chat by replying um, Yes, I am interested. Okay. Let's see now what the system says. It has got the reply. So you see, system has again replied. Great. What motivated you considering selling than the address? When could we make the time to call discuss further with my acquisitions team? We can check today or tomorrow. Um, so let's say um, I am available tomorrow okay so here system has got the reply chat GPT is containing the chat all right so system said, all right, I logged that in tomorrow 4 p.m. Let's connect then to answer any questions and then you can call on this number. Looking forward to it. And because now we have an appointment for tomorrow 4 p.m., system has also created an appointment for the same time automatically. I did not do anything. It did it by its own. So if I refresh this page, yeah. So because we have the date here, the appointment date, if you see that the appointment has been created for tomorrow, which is 23rd of April at 4 p.m. And this is what system had su uh, suggested the time. So you see uh, all the communication the system is having by its own with the help of chat GPT. And it is able to know that what the system was talking to the person where was the conversation based on that it is continuing the chat and if uh, the party is ready to um, schedule a call it does it by its own you can modify the prompt according to your need if you want um, the system should give uh, give the client just two options to select for the meeting that can also be done and obviously you can change the VA name whenever you want. Um, you can set what message should be sent. So everything is doable. You just have to configure this prompt section in a precise way, in an accurate way. And if this is good, everything will work just absolutely fine. So that's why this prompt is super important. So I showed you how uh, this chat GPT works with the Podio system. What you need to configure. This is the one time configuration. So all this setting is just one time. You just configure it once and then all the communication will be uh, the system will be doing it by its own. It will be replying to the clients. It will be scheduling the appointments by its own. You don't have to do anything. And the effort which your team is actually putting into replying those uh, emails and setting up those uh, appointments now I think with the help of this tool it's all gone this chat GPT platform can help you with all those operations and now I think uh, with the help of this you will be able to save a lot of money okay so I definitely recommend to give it a try if you want to configure the system simply uh, write a comment in this video or get back to me 
and I would be really happy to help uh, setting up this system for you. Um, so if you like the video, please do subscribe it, leave a comment. If you have any questions, just let me know. All right. I will see you in my next video. Thank you.